Hey guys, did the awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guides, where we talk about monsters' moves, rune sets, partners, all that jazz. Today we're talking about Ixorus, the upcoming premiere monster for this month of June, I believe. Uh, so Ixorus is, if you haven't heard yet, he is the brother of Oros, uh, as said by his uh, bio here, uh, when Bandolfio made uh, a mountain split in two, uh, one of it's Oros, and uh, the other side of it is Ixorus here, <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. I, 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 I like cool backstories, this is a cool backstory, and uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think that, you know, one of the worst epics in the entire game would be capable of doing this, but, you know, he, he made, <laughs> he made, he made, Two of the tankiest monsters in the game. <laughs> you know this this guy right here. This this man. You know the mascot. You know this guy right here. Yeah, he, he made he made this. He made he made uh, Ixorus and he made Oros. <laughs> that guy. You know that guy. The guy that's the butt of every you know epic joke you know ever. Uh, yeah, he made he made these two a thing. He, he made them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so besides his really cool design, he has really awesome moves and he has really awesome stats. Uh, and he holds the same trait as his brother, which is immunity to freeze and stun, aka the mountain trait, which is really awesome. You want to know what else is awesome? He's a fire-based uh, element. Why does that matter? Because uh, for one thing, tell me uh, a monster here. Tell me a fire monster here that doesn't uh, that doesn't do anything besides uh, stun in terms of a deny. They only. They, Exactly, you can't aim anything, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, there wasn't much time to answer that question, but uh, yeah, there, there's none. <laughs> there's uh, like all these, all, all the fire monsters at the moment are just stun. That's all they do is, they all they do is stun, 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 no matter what, what. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do. Uh, they do stuns. That's all they do. Usually, just in the form of single target stuns. I don't think one has an AOE stun yet. Every every fire monster here, if they have a deny skill, it's in the form of a single target stun. Now that's really great. That means he's essentially immune to all fire-based monsters. Deny. I mean, like, there's no there's no possessors at the moment uh, for fire monsters or anything that does freezing. Well, even even at freezing again, he's immune to freeze, so that doesn't matter either. <laughs> uh, now he is susceptible to uh, possessions, hundred percent stamina drain, and mega stunning. Now that's I'm gonna say for the mega stunning, that's not a huge concern because there is no fire monster immune to stun. Uh, I mean, no, 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 words, uh, words. There's no fire monster that, uh, you know, sets out mega stun. There's nothing that can mega stun at the moment in terms of a fire monster. So he's safe from mega stun in, in terms of his own category. Uh, that's the hugest problem. If you guys were ever wondering why I never have Oros or why I should, why, I'm not, why I haven't gotten Oros yet, it's because of this guy, Bronies. It's the, it's the pure reason why I don't ever, I don't ever use him. I, I just, I don't ever put, or I don't even have, I don't have Oros yet. I don't. I wouldn't ever put him on defensive, even if I got the opportunity to, because people are going to bring this guy. <laughs> people run, usually run him full speed. Uh, and Mega Stun, Mega Stun Oros, he doesn't move at that point. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anyone any good. Uh, so that's that's usually why I don't put, I, I don't even have, I don't have Oros, nor would I put him on defense. That's my justification. And the other reason is uh, he can get possessed. <laughs> that's another reason. Uh, but again, at the moment, there's no fire monster, uh, it does possession again. There's not no fire monster that possesses nano or mega stuns. Uh, I think in terms of major cases, what uh, Ixorus has to deal with, he has to deal with Shalnar. He has to deal with Tefra. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, Bubblegum dealing with uh, Bubblegum having to deal with torches. <laughs> these guys are the these two are the torches, and this guy's the huge wad of bubblegum. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of fat. Uh, I, I think I think there's I think fat is a material uh, like substance in. God, I think they use fat. I, I have no idea, but uh, y you get my point. This guy is this guy. While it is, is indeed the flabby, why he doesn't carry a huge life. When you can set people, I mean, when you can make people weak to fire, and just, you know ignite them, and then proceed to do a large amount of damage because they have really high end base damage moves. Tefra holding a set, I think it was like 70 or 75 base single target move. Uh, fire-based move, and Shalinar being able to set up double damage after weakening you, you, you know, you weaken people, and then the next turn you do double damage extra turn and shoot them to death uh, with either the AoE or the single target move and total a lot of damage. Of course, that depends on the rune, uh, it depends on how strong those uh, strength runes are with Shalinar, but most of the time you get my point. I mean, you get the point in the long run. She can just 
waste tanks. <laughs> uh, she, she's really proficient in that, and so is Tefra on occasion. Uh, so yeah, power three thousand four hundred sixty-five. This thing hits like a truck, <laughs> uh, or like he, he gets the he has the gospel power of four sixty-five. This is really great, uh, and he has a lot of b strong base moves to, uh, you know, go hand in hand with that. Most of them are above fifty, or you know, there's sixty base. I, I think the low, you know, I think the I think the lowest is sixty or something like that. Uh, all of his base moves do relatively high damage. Now, I'm not in terms of what I was just saying. In terms, like in terms of the lowest is sixty. Obviously, I'm not including the AOE. I'm including single based moves. Yes, his single based moves hate hard, <laughs> and they apply a uh, DOT effect, uh, which contributes to it hitting even harder. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really great power. Uh, it really, it's really great because he also has a really good move later on that uh, that scales really well with this power. It, since it has a really nice power, it's going to scale really nice with one of his moves, uh, and I'll tell you that later on. Uh, so his life is 42,525. 40, I said that right, right? 42,525. Yes, yes. Uh, he has a higher life than Oros. Uh, I think he has the... Is it probably the highest life in the game, then? Yeah, I mean, like, I've always had the highest life for the longest of time, so I'm assuming this guy has the highest life in the game. Uh, this is an assumption. Uh, just by a few points, of course, it's not too big, but, you know, it's, it's again, it's fire Oros pretty much, uh, without having to deal with, you know, the uh, the uh, hugest enemy of all time to things with that hold the uh, mountain trait, uh, which is Mega Stun, and he doesn't have, again, I, I was going to scroll up and point at Bronies again, but you guys know, yeah, you guys already know, I don't even need to point at this man, you guys already know who this is, you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, speed is 2,926, this is both a blessing and a curse to this man, <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, some of his moves work really well with this speed, because that means the enemy gets more turns in, and they suffer more from his DOTs, is also a bad thing because that means he's not moving and the other enemy's moving all the time <laughs> uh, depending on who's remaining alive and or if it's something that can completely deny him the game is theirs at this point if if it can completely control him the entire game without a care in the world then yeah you're you're in trouble <laughs> uh very much so uh so again, speed is uh, pretty poor. You do have to run a speed rune that is mandatory, uh, especially later game. You have, to, you have to run a speed later game. It's just way, way too slow not to run a speed rune. And even when you do run the speed rune, it's going to just cancel out a bit of the uh, you know, the higher tiered speed run speed rune runners uh, later on. So it's just it's just a good idea to have. It's just it's just, it's just a good, you know, plan. Uh, that way, you at least get to see a turn. You know, if you, if you, if you don't get a turn above the highest, a at least you got to saw that that you had a turn, that you, that you would have gotten one. <laughs> uh, very important that you kill the denier right away, uh, so uh, this thing can catch up in terms of move order. Uh, that's I, I'm gonna say that's your straight up first priority uh, when you ever you use this thing in terms of player control. Kill the denier first. <laughs> you want to see your guy move again, right? Kill kill the denier first. <laughs> Uh, make that thing and no longer move. <laughs> uh, and this guy is fully capable of doing that. Uh, if, if the denier is not running a life rune, that 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 denier is dead. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call. I'm not gonna pronounce this move, but we're gonna label this move as the cool ultimate. Cool. See what I did there? Cool. <laughs> With the K. Cool. <laughs> Co cool. 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 <laughs> we're gonna call it the cool ultimate. <laughs> uh, you know, I obviously I'd butcher the rest of this. It's yeah, I'd butcher the rest of this name. <laughs> but uh, it's a 50 base special based AoE. Uh, it's, you know, it's everybody. And it applies burning and it applies quicksand. Now, this is a really awesome ultimate. At the same time, it's, uh, if they possess you, uh, you're in huge trouble if you get this at the same time. Uh, because if you're possessed, he's going to apply it to himself. I will say that's another huge bane with this monster. Uh, I would say he's really more susceptible to possession than Oros is, specifically because he holds DOT moves. Uh, I, I do like uh, Ixirus better because he can apply DOTs and take advantage of the fact he's not getting as many turns in because the DOT is doing that damage for him while he's not moving, uh, which is really nice and cool. Uh, now, if you're under possession and, you know, the NPC does this, you're, you're doomed. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> uh, that's just the moral of the story, and that's the end of the story. That's the beginning of the story and the end of the story. You're dead if you're possessed, and uh, he uses this on himself. You, your entire team, too. You're, you're done. <laughs> you're done. It's just the, the, you know, the base damage isn't all that high, Drew, but the uh, the amount of the what the 
the DOTs are gonna just waste you. <laughs> uh, now, a lot of people are like, oh, but, uh, you know, since people are bringing a fire monster to the court, uh, you know, most fire monsters are immune to burning, so there's nothing to really worry about. True, but uh, keep in mind, everyone loves bringing Darmouth. <laughs> Darmouth is not immune to burning. <laughs> I want to say for the most, uh, that's a really strong argument in all honesty. A lot of people say, oh, they're all burning, uh, all burning, you know. You know, obviously, I yeah, just bring something immune to burning. A lot of people love bringing Darmouth. <laughs> uh, like, out of, like, all the... Out of all the, uh, you know, fire people of this category, you know, a lot of people love bringing the D-man, the D GD, you know, the, the G to the D. Everyone loves bringing this man, General Darmouth, who isn't immune to burning. Uh, to a lot of fire monsters in the game are immune to burning. This man's not, and everyone uses this man most of the time. <laughs> uh, that's just the thing. I'm just, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, the thing. Uh, so yeah, a really great DOT overall, because, uh, he, since he's slow, he can take advantage of it, you know, this will waste the enemy, so as long as, again, you don't want to get possessed, uh, that's just the one thing he doesn't want to be. He does not want to be possessed. If, uh, say this a thousand times, because it's an important thing. It's, uh, one of the things you should be concerned about when running him on defense. I will say there are things to get around this concern, and it's gonna be really helpful, I'm gonna mention that, uh, as we've mentioned, partners for this monster. Uh, Maruna Lo uh, Loa, I'm going to mention this move in skill groups one here, it is a 30 damage one turn cooldown, uh, 26 stamina move that gives a 30% shield when you attack. Now obviously the damage output isn't pretty, that's not the point, it's the fact you get a 30% shield. Uh, given the fact that this thing has a naturally high life to begin with, and given the fact if you are running really high end runes with this monster, especially like an X life, you're going to have such a huge shield. <laughs> uh, essentially you're going to have exactly that. Uh, just straight up the bat. Just this it's uh it's just uh this is more so of a tank measure you could say. Uh I don't know how significant uh, in terms of significance I'm not I I'm not too sure. Uh just because again possession exists. Possession does exist. So it it means if you're using this move, it means you're you're not doing uh you know you're not doing anything that can waste the enemy. You're just doing something that can protect him. And uh, it just it just buys it just makes it spends that it makes them spend more time dealing with this guy. It just means they have to spend a huger, longer time dealing with them. That's just all that equates to. Uh, Pakaya deals moderate fire damage to all enemies, may burn all targets. This is a two turn cooldown, 45 damage AoE. I love the cooldown on this uh, AoE, it's really nice. And you should be running this uh, DOT, uh, this AoE. It's his only AoE, and it's it's his deal. It's like the it's the one of the reasons why I think he's better than Oros. Sim one of the reasons, just one of the many reasons. Uh, there there are quite a few reasons why he's better than Oros. Specifically because he can DOT his enemies. Uh, he can essentially ruin. He, he can make. He can pretty much take them being faster. Again, double edged sword. That's the that's the that's the sharp end of the sword. He can turn the speed against them. He can you know the more turns they get, obviously the more life you lose, and this lasts for three turns. <laughs> Uh, given the fact he has a really high base damage, this, this is, and given the fact if you give him a really, really nice strength rune, if you have a level X strength rune, uh, and they're not running a life rune, they're done for. <laughs> they, they, they have very limited time left. They better deal with you within that remaining time. Uh, Irazu. Uh, Irazu? Irazu. Irazu. <laughs> Words. Uh, Irazu. Uh, Irazu deals heavy fire damage, may burn target, uh, spammable 55 damage, uh, DOT, uh, that's single target based again, 31 stamina, 55 damage, uh, I don't run it, <laughs> uh, simply because there are other supportive moves, and spe specifically this upcoming move right here, uh, but you already got burning covered, you don't need to run Irazu, I will say if you wanted to run Irazu, uh, the only time you'd, you'd want to run it is if you're dealing with time you're on. That's that's the only reason you run this move. <laughs> uh, if you want to hit someone, uh, hit someone, anyone when under the cooldowns activated of Timuron, that's the only time you do. It just it just is. <laughs> uh, Etna, 
deals heavy uh, special damage, uh, very heavy, quote unquote, very heavy special damage, uh, applies quicksand to target. Uh, this is a one turn cooldown, 65 damage move, that's 31 stamina, and it applies the quicksand DOT. This is really great, uh, specifically because it's a special form of DOT in the form of, you know, it's, it's not, uh, you know, burning, so you can stack it with burning, uh, and if it's like a fire monster, if this thing hits a fire monster with it, it can't avoid the DOT because it's not burning it's quicksand again it's a different dot that does the same amount of damage too so you essentially can do <laughs> uh if you manage to get both of these dot if you manage to get burning and quicksand on a monster they're dead they will be so wasted at some point they, they can't uh they can't deal with the dot yet. i mean like they have very limited time they're put on a clock pretty much they put it in an hourglass uh except you don't get an hour to kill them you get uh like turn count <laughs> it's essentially instant death you, you're pretty much at instant death at this point or like you know you're on the countdown you, you don't have much time left to deal with this man this guy is essentially uh you can think of him like a raid boss that's timed you, you, you have time yeah you you're limited by time to actually finish him and deal with him before he does all of his stuff before he all does all of his ultimate boss things that he does if you ever played any mmo you know final fantasy uh online uh, you, you get my point, you get my point, like, for time bosses, you know, the, before, the, you, have, you have a limited time, before they do some ultimate that destroys everybody on the field for no, just because you ran out of time, <laughs> uh, this is essentially what this, uh, speaks to, uh, and, uh, I highly recommend running it, uh, there's no reason not to, uh, today, uh, I think, uh, today, 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 I don't know if I'm pressing, uh, pronouncing that right, uh, but this does uh, massive fire damage. Uh, it's a 70 damage move, 2 turn cooldown, 28 stamina. Uh, you may run this on a damage dealer one. I wouldn't run this on the extra guy build simply because uh, it doesn't hold any utility. Uh, you want, uh, I say, if, if you want the maximum uh, in terms of defense, if you're going to put this thing on defense, don't run this move. It's not a defensive move. Uh, true, this does a lot of damage. This is like uh, taking off, he's pulling out a giant fly swatter uh, using this move. He's going to take quite a bit of a chunk of someone's life away with this move, uh, but that's, a, that's it. Uh, it's it with this move. It's it's just purely damage. Uh, I feel like his utility is you know stronger. You should bring you should bring utility with this man here, uh, for the most part. Uh, just, that's just my personal opinion. He, I I feel like he's more of a defensive monster than he is meant for offense. You can use him. You can use him for offense too if you wanted to. I uh, just keep in mind. Uh, you know he's he just doesn't you know yeah. <laughs> uh, this this guy's would be a really great monster to put on defense for a lot of fights. Uh, just to, to, just to let you guys know. <laughs> uh, uh, Ves, uh, ally will receive all target attacks. Uh, ally will reflect all attacks, except physical ones. Uh, requires a cooldown of three turns. It's a self buff that's 28 stamina. Uh, and for three, like, uh, not, not three, three turns, two turns, you're gonna be drawing in all single attacks. Now, I wanna emphasize how great it is, uh, because it also gives you mirror, mirror, uh, this is a huge, huge FU to Voltic, and you should be running this move. Regardless of what set it is, regard just regardless, you need to run this move. This move is really great, uh, because it pretty much, essentially, if they use an extra turn move, you get to go, uh, I mean, like, that's the thing with the, you know, extra turn moves, uh, you know, if you, if you reflect that uh, extra turn move with mirror, mirror, your monster gets to go then. Because it reflects it back. It's counting the fact that you use the move, so you get the tur you get a turn. You, you, you should totally be running this move. There's no reason why you should not be running this move. <laughs> uh, it, makes, uh, it makes a really good place. It makes some really, really great plays uh, in terms of being able to move. You pretty much get to move twice. That's what I, another thing. That's This is uh, another reason why he's better than Arouse, because he can do this. He can pull this off. Uh, so if, uh, let's say an enemy does like an AoE freeze or something like that, or like an AoE deny again, uh, you can reflect that. You can be like, nah, get out of here. <laughs> here, I'm going to send you right back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you toss this thing at me. Here, here it's... Here's it back. <laughs> here's it back, and here's it tenfold. Uh, because uh, mirror, mirror scales with your damage. Uh, if you're building damage, uh, and, you, and it's the thing that reflects back, it's the damage scales off that guy. So this guy has really nice base power. And if you build a strength rune, let's say you're building a level 10 strength rune, that's going to be a lot of damage reflected back. <laughs> Especially if the base power on that AoE is really decent. Let's say it's like a 40 damage. Let's say it's like a frostbite AoE, right? Let's say it's like frostbite decides to free you, freeze you there and you have this up. You're going to do 40, you know, 40, you know, it's a base of 40 damage right back at the enemy. 
Uh, Trio's not going to do much to that Frostbite, but everybody else is going to be taking a 40 damage. As, as if you're going to be, like, B B Bakaya again. It's, it's like you're taking that same amount of damage. <laughs> uh, and plus, uh, plus you could use your own, you could use Pakaya yourself after, like, you've done your Mirror Mirror. You, uh, but, that, but that's, uh, yeah, but uh, of course, that, that one that one specific example is an extra dream move, but yeah. You get my point. The utility on this move is really great and really stupid. You should be running this move. <laughs> All right, Krakatora. Now this is uh, you should totally be running this move uh, for several reasons. One, uh, gives you a fifty percent shield. Two, uh, really nice base damage. Uh, Sixty da damage is no spitting matter. It, it's a lot. And three, it's a SpongeBob meme. Krakatoa. <laughs> you have no idea how long I waited to uh, pop out <laughs> the the Squidward. <laughs> uh, uh, the squid where, you know, Spongebob meme, Krakatoa. Now, if you, if you have yet to see this episode, you need to look up, you need to look up the, uh, the Spongebob episode. I forgot the name of it, uh, but it's an episode where the Spongebob and gang, uh, become, like, uh, you know, superheroes. It's one of the better, it's one of my favorite episodes, if not my favorite episode of all time of Spongebob. You should totally see it. It's really great. Uh, now going back to this, going back to, uh, <laughs> this, uh, besides, uh, we're, we're, we'll talk about, like, potential names for this man later, but, uh, Krakatoa, really great move, uh, again, uh, high base damage, really great, uh, and it gives you a 50% shield, it makes you live longer, so essentially, uh, this was another reason why people were saying he wasn't too heavily affected by, uh, by, you know, uh, possession all that much, I'm gonna say still, I, like, this, this does, I'm gonna say, if you are possessed and you do, do this move, it does matter, because since you are building, if you do build, quote, you know, if you build damage on him, if you do build a strength rune, if it's a really high strength rune, you're gonna hit the, your lights out on your denier, or your attacker, or, like, if this guy's your attacker anyway, but, yeah, if, if it hits him, it doesn't matter too much, but if it hits anybody else, you're in trouble. <laughs> if it's an, if it hits anybody else, he's gonna kill one of your, you know, one of his friends. He doesn't want that. He wants to kill the enemy, not your, not his friends. <laughs> uh, so, like, uh, when you're building your defense, make sure you build someone that gives immunity to possession. Uh, we're, again, we're, again, almost to that, but we're gonna wrap up talking about the moves, uh, Krakatoa, so you should be running Krakatoa, uh, where it's Krakatoa on all sets, really great move, two thumbs up, uh, shield, plus really heavy damage, what more could you ask for, uh, things that aren't running a life rune, uh, are gonna take really heavy damage from this, <laughs> they're gonna take a lot of damage, <laughs> uh, but I don't think, I don't know if it would be enough to kill them, naturally, uh, unless you rank this guy up, of course, then the OI is gonna, completely squash it. <laughs> it's gonna squash something. Something dies. <laughs> uh, simply because the scaling as you level, you know, after you get, you know, beyond 100, the damage starts to get really ridiculous just by having one X rune on. <laughs> it gets really ridiculous. Uh, so moves, uh, real quick, you should be running, uh, of course, you'd be, you'd be running uh, Vesavus. Vesavus, uh, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, we just call it Vest for short. You should be running Vest. You should be running Krakatoa, of course. Uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob meme. Go for it. Call him Squidward. That's one of his potential names. You can call him Squidward. <laughs> uh, you can run that. You can run... Uh, you should be running Etna. And you should be running Pakaira, too. Uh, and uh, I was going to say... Um, um, Mauna Lao... I mean, Loa is an optional move. Uh... You could, if you wanted to be quote unquote safe, you instead of running this move, this fifty percent shield right here, you could run um, Mua uh, Loa. You could run that instead uh, to be safer in terms of like, let's say you do get possessed, uh, you can uh, risk having him destroy one of your friends. You know, he gets a chance not to destroy one of your allies simply by doing the thirty percent shield move. I mean, thirty damage shield move. You know, you got thirty percent. Excuse me, you get 30% shield, and your ally doesn't die on you. It's a good way to avoid ally death if you're possessed. That, I don't, that's just a, that's a safety thing, that's all that is. Uh, that's, that's, that, that's, uh, that's tip is all that is. Uh, you can, of course, uh, instead, you, if you don't want to get rid of the 50% shield move, you can swap that out for, you can swap Edna out for the Loa move if you want to do that too. Uh, but for the main set, I'd run uh, Krakatoa, I'd run uh, Vesavus, uh, Etna, and Bakaya. 
no, I, I might actually be on and off running Kakatoa uh, and or just running uh, Lola since it's a safer possess anti-possession move. It's safer because it's, I don't necessarily, I'm not going to necessarily knock out a helper if I do get possessed. It's just, again, it's a safety thing. If anything else, it's just, again, safety. Uh, in the case of the event, uh, you get possessed. Uh, again, that's again, that's again. Uh, I'm not saying uh, Krakatoa isn't the better shield move. Because, you know, you're doing a lot of damage, and you're getting a 50 percent. You're getting 20 percent more of a shield. I'm just saying this this uh, Loa is a safer safer ride. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to disrespect. I'm not just. Dis I'm not trying to disrespect the disrespect or anything in terms of the safe option. But you know, just you know, yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. I'm just, I'm, try, I'm just advising a safe defensive build that won't get you killed. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna say for the, uh, I'm gonna say for the most part in terms of weaknesses. Uh, again, possession. Again, mega stun, stamina drain. Uh, beyond that, he has to also worry about being TOT'd. Uh, like also Oros, he's not immune to burning, he's not immune to poison, he's not immune to these other strong DOTs that exist in the game, or, you know, he's not immune to being, like, overweighed by DOTs. If he gets burned, if he gets, uh, quicksand, he, he's gonna die quickly. He's, he's not gonna exist any longer. <laughs> he's gonna burn out really, really quickly. Uh, even with, I'm gonna say, even with the, even with the shields, I'm gonna say even with the shield, because you're not contributing other damage that's being dealt to you, uh, while you're waiting for your turn to come up again. Uh, if you, if if the enemy is ahead of the game and you know this guy last guy left uh, and you're under DOT, you're yeah you're not gonna live for too much longer. Even with the fifty percent shield, you're just too heavily you're, you're, you got too much DOT on you and all that jazz. But uh, going going back, uh, I'm gonna t I'm gonna have an ending. I, I'm not gonna end the closure yet, but I gotta talk about partners real quick. Uh, for partners, genuinely, I really want you, in terms, I'm going to actually advise this, I really want, I would really love it if you paired some, like, something that gives immunity to possession with this monster. And I think that's very crucial that you do. If you do that, I will, I do believe, like, there are several monsters you can pair this man up with here, this, this awesome monster. You can pair him up with, uh, yeah, it's like I'm trying to find him. Uh, this is a water category, so obviously it's the wrong one. Uh, pair him up with... Scrad. Uh, not only does it make him immune to uh, a form of damage, you know, dark damage, he would be immune to dark damage at that point. You know, he makes everybody immune to dark damage. He also makes everybody immune to possession. Uh, now, I will say this does not save you from advanced possession. This won't save you from glitch, but, you know, it'll save you from a lot of other possessors. You know, you know it's, it'll save you from mommy. It'll save you from uh, Nishan's pet right here. Uh, you know, it's a safety thing. Uh, I think Scrab would be a really great partner with him. Uh, you may run Bowtie. I will say Bowtie would work wonders with this monster. Bowtie. You should be running Bowtie with him. Uh, these, these, these monsters are mainly... So the monsters I'm advising you are mainly support monsters because, in all honesty, he's going to be the damage. He's going to be the damage of your team. And the... Uh, the other two monsters are a support and, you know, the basic deny the mandatory denier. Uh... Lamuna, that's another monster too. They're right hand in hand. These two monsters, they're, see, there's two monsters, two partners for that, for the both of them. You should, you know, these are these are two other options you may do uh, to run with this uh, monster. Uh, I will say anything that can make you immune to DOTs is a fan uh, fantastic idea. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna say. Vanos or Gangsta Vanos. Uh, that that's that works really wondrous uh, synergy. Uh, he also gives immunity to possession too. I do believe so. That's another partner option. Uh, is it going to be your most popular? Is it going to be the community's most popular option? No. Is it still going to be a valid option? Absolutely. Uh, and since they upgraded stamina regen, uh, that's that's another thing that helps uh, Gangsta Vanos. That'll help Gangsta Vanos so you could run things. You know. Even though we're not talking about gangster, but I'm just saying like his his moves cost a lot of stamina. There are things that, since I, I'm just mentioning the stamina regen increase, so you you get more back, so you can run this safely, uh, or you, you run it better. Uh, so that means you'd have to run. Uh, this would be another. This would be your support. I'm saying Va uh, gangster Venus would be a support, uh, and your denier. Uh, you can deniers vary, of course. Uh, uh, I, I, in all honesty, uh, with the, the, the stamina drain issue, I highly recommend Hydrotilla. <laughs> uh, you should, uh, I want to say since one of its problems is 100% stamina drain, you should run Hydrotilla. No reason not to. Uh, it's just really great. 
uh, with him. And honestly, I think he's one of the best monsters in the game currently at the moment, uh, specifically the water one, simply because you can bypass this troll right here, this DD's monster right here. <laughs> uh, this general, this annoying, annoying existence of a monster that does AoE 100% Sarah Dream. No, not a cure in the world. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Hydratilla Iceberger, good idea. And, and his other forms also work with him. Uh, that can also be a thing. Uh... Yeah, why not, not, why not, like, uh, for other partners you can bring, why not bring the Mountain Brothers? Why not bring Oros, and why not bring Gorin? Bring the Raid Boss Team! Bring a Raid Boss Team! Raid Boss Team! Raid Boss Team! <laughs> all your, all your team, all your monsters are immune to possession. Well, not possession, uh, you know, freeze and stun. I, I might actually, like, if I ever get Oros for free in the future, I don't think I'm ever gonna spend gems on them, but if I get them for free in the future, I'm gonna make a Raid Boss Team. <laughs> Uh, hashtag red, red boss team in the comments below. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are those are the uh, those are the choices. Healers is also a thing. If you bring things that can heal and remove negative effects, that's also a great uh, help to you. Cyan Nutra is uh, one of the one of the hidden gem partners uh, or like healers or supporters for really tanky monsters like Ixorus, Oros, and or Goron. Uh, you know, the things with the mountain immunity that are immune to, you know, burning. You know, they're very susceptible to being burned. Uh, Zion can heal heal their worries. It's helpful. <laughs> uh, Sylvanas is, uh, if you're not building a... I mean, like, like one of his moves is an AoE 50 damage heal. That's also... I think that's really nice. Uh, you can pair it up with that. Uh... You know, there's other options. Look out... I, I'm going to say he's also... I'm going to say another reason why Ixers is also really great. He doesn't have to worry about Ulsa's pet. Ulsa's pet is a huge counter to... Uh, to uh, Oros because uh, he essentially turns his healing moves against him. Uh, true, uh, Ixers won't be able to shield, but you know, Ixers is going to waste that Ulsa's pet because he's fire-based. He's going to one-hit Ulsa's pet. As far as I'm concerned about uh, downing Ulsa's pet, Ixers really doesn't... It really doesn't care about Ulsa's pet at all. He's gonna waste him if he if he did is used against him or is he fighting one? Yeah. Uh, again, healers just universally speaking, uh, and again things that give him immune to possession. Uh, and that's everything you need to know about Ixorus. Let me know if you have any other question about this monster. I would love to know in the comments section below. Uh, overall, uh, really nice monster. Honestly, the best fire monster in the game uh, at the moment. I do believe when he comes out. He's not in the game yet, so. Until that time, obviously, uh, I think the best fire monster still at the you know just, just like king of the top top. I, I think it'll always be Shalinar at the moment since she has extra turn double damage. But you know, like that's the hugest one at the moment. Uh, we're gonna have another huge fire monster coming with us, and it's gonna be a lot of great things. Uh, countering real quick, it's honestly there's a lot of ways to counter him. I'd say the really hugest way to counter this man is bringing Shalinar and or Tefra, who can uh, make him very susceptible fi to fire based move. And if you have a possessor uh, with you, uh, that combos really well. Those those two, the like Tefra and Sh Tefra and the uh, possessor or Shalinar and a possessor, they combo really well. They're gonna waste. They're just absolutely waste uh, Ixorus here. Uh, but that's enough of that. I'm pretty sure I have to wrap up the video here. I don't know how long it's been uh, since I started this video. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.